Hello there, and welcome to this special edition of Painting Journeys. My name is Kitty Lynn Klisch, and I'm here today with the principal of St. John the Baptist School in Plymouth, Wisconsin, Mrs. Amy Nelson. Hi, Amy. I'm, I'm very grateful to have the um, honor of being on Kitty's show today. Um, Thank you. I, I, I you know, um, I cannot believe that after all this time, and it was a short time, you know, since we first met, it was a short period of time, but it seemed to me like it has been ages that, that this process of bringing this painting to life, of bringing your dream to life has, has taken. And do you remember how we first met? Um, Barbara Steinacker, a mom of one of my students, um, knew that I was pursuing the possibility of having an artist um, come on site to do a painting of St. John the Baptist. Um, and Barbara oh. introduced um, Kitty to me. And, me? <laughs> <laughs> yes, introduced you to me. And um, then the journey began, and it has been an absolute beautiful journey. Um, I've been a member here at St. John the Baptist School for 21 years. This is my, was my, just completed my third year as principal. And uh, obviously being a parochial school, uh, we are faith-centered. And part of our mission at St. John the Baptist School is to um, share the faith with our students. Mm -hmm. And so um, I truly believe that your painting um, tells a story for our students and is going to be telling a story to our students for many years to come. I really, truly um, feel that uh, besides the beautiful presence that it's going to have in our school, I think that um, just the story behind it um, is meaningful as well. I really felt that our school um, was missing something. Mm -hmm. I mean, being that our name is St. John the Baptist, um, really did not have um, much in the way of St. John the Baptist symbolism in the building itself. And so having you create this beautiful painting um, telling the story of the baptism of Christ um, is definitely, definitely a treasure for our school today and for many years to come. Well, thank you. I, 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 I know that I wasn't your first choice. Or I wasn't the first person that uh, was recommended to you. Tell me about that. I've always wondered. <laughs> I would say beginning of the school year, I really started to pursue this dream of mine a how little more is, seriously. I think I've been thinking about adding something to the school in the way of art, um, since I'm a firm believer that art is um, what truly um, makes an individual well-rounded. And so I'm was very interested in having um, a painting or a mosaic or a mural of some sort created for um, our hallway. Um, and so I started pursuing it a little bit more seriously this past fall. And Barbara Steinacker, one of my students' parents, as I mentioned before, um, mentioned a couple different um, artists that she knew that could come in and do some measuring and give mm -hmm. me some quotes um, for cost purposes and so forth. And well, was your first initial plan to have a, an actual painting on canvas or were you talking about mural at first? Because when you yeah, first right. talked to me, you talked about mural right. on the wall. Right. Well, I Originally I did think it would be um, a wonderful idea to have a mural and actually um, even before having different artists um, give ideas and suggestions to me, um, I had thought that our art teacher herself um, along with the students um, could perhaps do some type of St. John the Baptist um, mm -hmm. mural or mosaic. Um, and then when I was introduced to um, Barbara's idea of having some artists come in and give me some different ideas of what they would like to do, um, I really felt like an original painting of some sort um, would be best because I knew that if we ever wanted to perhaps um, move the painting somewhere else or if we um, remodeled, remodeled or, or added on to the school at some point, um, I wanted something that would be able to be moved. And sure. so um, having you do this on canvas and make it a painting um, is 
even that more special because I know that um, it's going to be much easier in the future to move it if we would need to. Right, right. Um, well, you have a certain, um, uh, well, well, back to the artist, the first mm -hmm. artist. May I ask, um, you know, as, as, as the mm -hmm. artist myself, mm -hmm. I'm just curious mm -hmm. why I was chosen rather than, than the first artist that you met. Um, I think from the first day that I was introduced to you, Kitty, um, I just felt a special connection. Um, I could almost feel um, your love of art just, just in the way you, you described what you were thinking about doing. And hearing somebody say how very special and what an honor it would be for them to actually do a painting of Jesus Christ uh, meant a lot to me because um, I think it takes a special individual to be able to capture um, and to be able to make the picture as realistic as I was hoping for it to be. Um, and the painting is truly a treasure. Um, you really have brought out the realistic um, features that I was hoping for. And I wanted it also to be um, since St. John the Baptist um, can also be seen, seen as being somewhat um, uh, rough and tough, mm -hmm, um, I mm -hmm. wanted it to also be somewhat soft to a degree as well. Mm -hmm. um, I needed, you know, just seeing some of your samples and things, I really could tell from the start that you were going to capture exactly what I was looking for. Oh, well, Something that I felt the kids would be able to better relate to. Right, um, and, and that... Nothing scary, but something... Um, a little bit softer uh, with your paint colors and, and your choice of the background. I felt that you were totally capturing um, exactly what I was hoping for. Well, that 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 really makes me feel good because um, uh, for me, this painting is this painting is my legacy painting. This is the this is the last big project. The, uh, for any community type situation that I will be taking on. And uh, I have dreamt about painting Jesus uh, for years now, you know, ever since I got into portraiture. And, you know, it's such a daunting, a daunting um, uh, subject to go into because painting Jesus is, is, um, is you know, everyone has their own idea, their own inside them, inside their head, lives the Jesus that they pray to. And, um, you know, so I, I can, I could, I'm telling you the truth now when I say that for the first, you know, before I started Jesus, I worked for seven hours just on Jesus's face one day. And before I worked on his face, I had prayed and and dreamt about him. He came to me in my dreams for the four nights before. And so then when I worked the seven hours that one day, you know, this is what came out. Mm -hmm. And then I got some feedback from some artist friends of mine that said, don't change a thing, you know. And it, it's, for me, this project, it's, you know, it it's, it, to me, it's my legacy because it's what I leave to all the children mm -hmm. that are going to be coming to this school mm -hmm. and going through this school. Long after I'm gone, there's mm -hmm. going to be children that this is affecting. Mm -hmm. And so as an artist, I, f I feel that this is the highest point in my career as an artist. I truly do. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm very happy that... Um you are able to fulfill one of your dreams, really, right. too, in a sense. And, you know, being that we're a Catholic school, um, oftentimes, you know, obviously throughout our lessons and throughout different activities that we do, uh, we very much try to um, empower the students to be reflective and mm -hmm. to think in terms of what their dreams are and how Jesus can be part of their dreams or can come out through them, whether right. it's through service projects or so forth. And um, I think that this particular scene that you chose to do is probably the most well-known with St. John the Baptist um, mm -hmm. in terms of the baptism. And I feel that um, it's very powerful 
and it very much goes with a theme that we had a few years ago where the spirit makes a difference. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, just looking at this um, dove coming down, ascending down, um, I feel like it really does kind of make me, and hopefully the students will as well, reflect on that the spirit does make a difference and that um, Jesus Christ is very powerful right, um, right. and is the Messiah. And right. um, your painting um, definitely makes me reflect in that sense too. Well, you know, what I wanted, um, what I really wanted to show in the painting was, um, you know, it, it says in the Bible that uh, John was in a, in a verdant part of the Jordan River when he baptized, when he was doing his baptizing. And so I researched a little bit about that. And um, uh, the Jordan River is, is a kind of a brown river like we have here in Wisconsin. Um, and, you know, the greens and uh, reflections are kind of, of, uh, of brownish green. And, and so it's all soft in the background in the trees, olive trees and things like that. But, but I, I wanted uh, for the family that uh, is in the painting, the family, I wanted them in there as witnesses, the traditional family, the mother, the father, the mother holding the baby, the sister and the brother. I wanted a, a portrayal of a traditional family there watching this. And what this is really portraying is an exact moment in time when, um, because even though John the Baptist and Jesus were cousins, uh, John did not know that Jesus was the Messiah. He knew that he was a prophet, I think, but he did not realize he was the actual, the Messiah. And so when Jesus came into the water and John put him under uh, the water to baptize him, and then when he came up, he brought him up, and he's holding him with one arm behind him. At that moment, you know, God's voice comes down out of the sky saying, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. And a dove descended. So at that very second, that very tiny moment in time was when John the Baptist realized that he was holding mm -hmm. Jesus, the Messiah. And that's what this whole thing is supposed to be about, is it's not, it's not a painting. I mean, it's, it's, it's not a supposed to be a depiction of, 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 a, of a period of time. It's supposed to be a, picture, a depiction of a moment in time, oh. one of the most important oh. moments in time that there ever was. And that's what I, that's what I set out to capture. That's what was so important to me with this particular, um, with this project. I, I love this project. It, it um, John was so much fun mm -hmm. to paint. I mean, he, you know, I mean, um, to, to put the, all the curls in his hair and his camel hair coat and, and all that and, and that kind of like half little bit of a wild look in his eyes but, but not enough to scare the children because I kept right. thinking, you know, the little ones are going to come up to this. Mm -hmm. The little preschoolers and kindergartners are going to come up to this and we want them to feel safe, mm -hmm. you know, and not scared. Um, right. Yeah, so... I, um, it was just such an awesome project. It really was. And I, um, I'm almost sorry to see it end. Let's see, we started working, well, we started working together in, uh, I think it was um, a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. And then um, we had a little brief period where I couldn't make it, but then uh, uh, I think I seriously started painting mm -hmm. Uh, the last week, and I've spent so I've been I've been painting for five weeks now, working on it for five weeks. And I think also just the as the dove is descending, how the dove is also looking at Jesus, just like Saint John the Baptist almost has that surprised look on his face. Right, um, exactly. Is just 
breathtaking when you first look at the picture too. It's very noticeable. And yeah. Well, that's where that's where all of the all I mean everything else is sort of has sort of a pastoral look to it. It's all right in here is where the energy is. You know, the dove coming down looking at Jesus. Jesus is looking at the dove, but he's, if you look at his eyes, uh, uh, Amy, he's also looking at you. Do you mm -hmm. see that? Mm -hmm. And yeah. But anyway, he's, he's looking up, and then he comes around. The, you know, the, the wing comes behind John, of which includes him in this energy, in this force. And John is looking at Jesus with the realization of who he is, and the dove is looking at Jesus, and I almost wonder if the spirit is saying, "I hope you're ready, kiddo. Mm -hmm. I hope you're ready for this." <laughs> you know, I mean, that's making light of it, but you know, uh, not to be too serious. But yeah, this is where all of the energy, the the interplay of the of the of the um, of the of John and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, and then all the action down below. And I and to me. The action down below of the water and the bubbles in the water, that's like the result. That's, mm -hmm. That is all of the mm -hmm. change yeah. that Jesus brought about. Right. That's what that mm -hmm. represents to right. me, you know? And, and very exciting for us here at St. John the Baptist School is this painting will be hung in a, one of our longer um, hallways so when you are walking down the hallway from one end to go towards the picture, it's going to appear as if you could almost walk right into the Jordan River. Right. And I think for our students, being that this picture is, is so big, this, this painting is so big, um, it's just going to even bring it to life even more for them. Yeah. Um, and it's almost as if you can, the detail that you put into the picture, uh, into the painting, pardon me, um, it makes it almost 3D. It's almost as if you could really feel St. John the Baptist curls in his hair or, <laughs> and you know, and I think you said it best when you say that that is uh, very representative, the water below Jesus and St. John the Baptist, representative of the changes that Jesus made. Um, I was thinking too, just in the changes that life can throw your way sometimes. Right. So, you know, that's one of my favorite things about art in general is the fact that um, you can take a look at art and you can really appreciate so many different things um, about one painting. I, you know, I, can, I came in here just the other day to see how far you were and I can remember standing and, and looking at it and seeing, noticing something I hadn't noticed before. Um, and I think that that's what's going to be neat for our students too, to be able to look at this picture and to be able to, you know, talk with the art teacher and talk with their um, classroom teachers, maybe talk, um, you know, with each other or, or have mm -hmm. you come in and talk to the students perhaps sure. um, at some point so that they can really um, also hear what you've shared just now of what different parts of the painting mean to you mm -hmm. or what you were trying to maybe present in the in the painting right. Um, right. even though I know that everybody kind of has their own uni unique way of looking at art right. and I know that as I said even just things that I'm noticing about the picture that I maybe didn't notice a few days ago um, so I think in time um, I will um, probably be able to share many more things that I really um, that this painting has really um, brought out to me um, yeah. I, I, I appreciate the fact too, Kitty, that um, you were so willing to research um, this particular neck of the woods, so to speak, so that it could be very realistic for our students in a sense that um, if they didn't know very much about the Jordan River or they didn't know very much about what a typical family of that time um, would have worn for clothing or um, maybe would have looked like, mm -hmm. that you tried to capture some of those demographics as well. Well, thank you, thank you, and I and we we need to talk about um, how where we where where this was done. Mm -hmm. Where right now we're in the uh, it was the old gymnasium of the mm -hmm. school of which was turned into the performing arts center, mm -hmm. and so um, the the canvas because it's six and a half by seven feet mm -hmm. tall. 
Uh, mm -hmm. It had to be built right mm -hmm. here on site. Mm -hmm. And so um, the canvas was built and then um, and we put it on the stage and then I've done the whole painting right here on site of which was very nice because mm -hmm. in the beginning when the children would come in, they were when school right. was still in, mm -hmm. and the children would come in, the different classes right. and they would ask them questions and things. <laughs> it was such a teaching moment for mm -hmm. me. I enjoyed it so much. <laughs> I really did. Did. Um, it was it was really great. So this has um, been a nice place, a nice you know. I mean, I hear the bells, the church bells, um, every hour at noon. Mm -hmm. They you do the little melody and everything. This has been such a wonderful, peace-filled environment to create in. And I thank you so much for for having this available right. to me as an artist to to create right. in. and i know you know i can also say to you thank you because i know that not just my teachers but uh, the students as well definitely benefited from being able to have a professional artist in the building mm -hmm. one in which that they can um, be inspired by um, look up to um, i do know that some of my students were, were on your website um, looking at some of your artwork and um, were very excited to get back to the classroom and, and try their hand at painting also. Oh, great. Um, and, you know, I think that part of our programming here at St. John the Baptist is to make sure that we keep some of these fine arts, such yes. as art itself and um, art appreciation. Right. And um, the allow, you know, allowing of the creativity and craftsmanship that art can um, help to present to students and, and help the students become more well-rounded. Yeah. And so having an artist in, um, in the building um, kind has of in been, residence, yes, yeah. it's been an absolute joy. Um, and as I said, it's been an absolute honor having you here well, at St. John you. the Baptist. Thank you so much. Well, I'll tell you what, if you know what the time is? It's time for me to sign the painting. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to take off my mic and I'm going to go over and I'm going to sign it right down there in the right hand corner. And um, if you want to talk to me, you can, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get ready for the unveiling, which will take place in August. Yes. Tell them about the unveiling. We will be doing an unveiling on August 27th and August 28th, following our mass times and uh, Kitty will um, be unveiling her, her painting at that time. And I think it's very important that I note that our Christian women here at St. John the Baptist School um, have funded this beautiful project. So a huge thank you must go out to the St. John the Baptist Christian women for allowing us to have this wonderful opportunity. Kind of awkward here. There we go. Huh? And so I all right, I think I, uh, I think we're gonna call it a wrap, and so <laughs> and a beautiful wrap it is. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, Amy, for being for being my guest on on Painting Journeys mm -hmm. today. Thank you for all the kind things mm -hmm. that you've said, um, and thank you for being my support. You and your staff have been my support and have kept me lifted up because mm -hmm. for me personally, this has been quite a journey, sometimes of doubt, sometimes of, of, um, of wondering if I had the ability to do what I had in my heart that I wanted to do. And you all have kept me lifted up with your support and it have made me my journey uh, a, a much more um, even one, secure one, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm, I so, do. Thank, thank you. you so much, thank you. And once again, um, this is Kitty Lynn Klish. This is a special edition of Painting Journeys. And um, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye for now. <music>